feels metallic. Is it the same as the second one? I'm asking it. Now it feels a little bit finer. As I pursue it, it seems to be a little oof, whiter. Uh, it's a better quality material. That's all I can do. It's a better quality material. Maybe it's smoother but it's a better quality. I wouldn't be afraid to run my hands up and down it. I wouldn't get any slivers. Ah, okay, I hang out with it for a bit. Sense, feeling, sense, feeling. Okay, what's the aliveness of it? Is there activity in there? What's the aliveness of it? Number two, I had an up and down pulsation. Level three, next, up and down, pulsation, next. Very definite, up and down. At first, it feels like a, a breathing machine. I can almost hear it make that sound. Oh, it feels like I'm watching a movie about a hospital set up or something. And anything else about the aliveness? Okay, here comes something. It's saying something like, I am like the breath in that I give life. Life giving. Okay, so it's kind of like the breath in that it's kind of life-giving. That's my sense. That's what I sensed, heard. That's what I sensed, experienced. That's what I sensed, saw. Okay, don't come up here. Let me think about it. What does he want me to say? What can I imagine? Don't go there. <laughs> it's here. It's here. This is critical. I aware, I aware, turns and looks. Well, for one thing, you missing the experience, the actual of it. And you'll think you, you're doing it and you'll think you understand because you're looking at it. Okay, but what you're seeing is a kind of a copy. This is the actual. Anything that comes around here and looks at itself is a copy. Okay. So I mentioned to people uh, the story I use there. It's like a great painting. Then they make copies of it. You can buy the copy for 20, 30, 50, 100 bucks. The original is 3 million or whatever. A copy has less value or no value. Okay. Ah. So this is the original, this inner sense feeling, this inner sense, inner imagining, inner listening. Okay. Oh, how, where are we? Turn the page. Can oh, okay, we double check my notes here? Okay, personal and alive. Okay. Okay. So this unit, this unit is alive. This unit is very personal. Okay. It's like the beginning of you here. <laughs> okay. Uh, eventually, uh, this unit will probably uh, become a, a truer self, and that'll be as an experience, very clear. But we, we start with just the beginnings of it. Uh, this unit has its own, I want to say energy. Nah, it's alive itself as a separate unit. These are the energies that mix up the body. They should be closer to the body, but you get the idea. So there are energies that are mixing up and down through the body. Be clear that those energies are fine. Those are energies. This inner thing that's alive, 
is aliveness, let's call it for a aliveness. Okay. This was very important, uh, uh, Sensei. He talked about it. The word he liked was uh, in English, vitality. That this, this is vital. It has its own vitality. Okay. Is that clear, clear enough? Check with my shields. Uh, how do we do this? A uh, couple of examples about your experience of center here, heretofore, up to this point. Sensei, are you asking people to yes. tell that you? You got my shields, you got my shields hmm. out there. So if anybody would like to respond to Sensei, please unmute your mic and speak. We're at level three. Uh, so, uh, either what was one, two, three pattern, or what's your three? I have a, I have one that was kind of new for me. This is Amy. Okay, a new one for Amy. Um, a Go new ahead. one was it. It's smooth. It feels like kind of a soft metal, and it's a uh, hollow, thick walled but hollow, and it resonates. Yeah. It, okay, it, like an up and down, but there's a resonating inside. Resonance. Okay. So she's getting a smooth, of course it's hollow because there's a liveness in it. That's how we're mm -hmm. setting this up. Mm -hmm. And hers resonates, mm -hmm. okay? Hers resonates. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, it, it, mine breathe, hers resonates. It has a mm -hmm. particular sound to it, I would surmise, right, uh, Amy? Yeah, it's more, um, it's vibrational. Like I can, I feel yeah. it more than I hear it in this yeah. case. Okay, she says it's vibrational and she feels it more than hears it. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and by the way, just if, if you want, uh, <laughs> you can also pick up hearing. Uh, how do mm. you, okay, I feel it, I feel it. What does it sound like? Mm. And it may be blank for a minute. I feel it. I feel it vibrate. Mm. What kind of sound is it making? So you have the ability of shifting, not styles, shifting uh, different kinds of awareness. Okay. I hear it, I feel it, I see it, uh, it makes this sound, whatever, whatever. Uh, anyway, you can, you can change, just ask the question and be open and uh, you can pick that up pretty quick. It'll increase your capabilities of funning around in here Hi. somebody else one one more uh Oops. this is bob, no, hey, bob. bob. No. Uh, hey i started out with that kind of half joe that you had okay started with the, the half joe then the second one was like a glass barbershop pole you know where it's kind of spiraling up and down okay the yeah. third one was kind of a mesh and i got the same thing you did about it breathing it was okay. it was open to inflows and outflows, but it was breathing itself. Okay, open to inflows and outflows, breathing itself and spiraling. Yes. Yes, okay. So uh, remember, uh, uh, Aikido people that have worked with me, we often talk about energies in a straight form, but at a better level, uh, the energies will show they spiral. So Bob's a little more, uh, Noah, is it more advanced there? So he's picking up, oh, it's spiraling in and out. Okay, All right? So that's a pattern, generally straight. And then after a bit, it'll show it spirals, okay? Aikido is a very spirally art, but you have to get at that dimension for that to be natural. Otherwise, you're making up how to spiral. And I'm doing a spiral. and from a teacher's viewpoint, I'm sorry, you look like shit. <laughs> okay. But at its proper level, at a certain level, where it's third level center, it naturally spirals. If not, it will do it at fourth level, but soon. Okay, thank you, uh, uh, people. Okay. So, yours are yours, it's very personal. Okay, if yours is solid and somebody else's is humming, nothing's wrong, okay? 
Uh, if there's a humming, it's probably because they're more of a singer. You're more of a steadfast person. It'll vary as to who you really are. It'll then attract the energies. Uh, the better this, the better that. This is truer self. It's very personal. And the energies will come in easily and quickly because they're energies of you. Am I saying that okay? Close enough. Okay. You're not calling in something foreign to be uh, uh, a person you're not. When you're better you, the energies around are mixing up a proper better you. Okay? Rested? All right, let's go at it one more time. We did three. And now, watch out for starting from memory. Settle down do quickly. Uh, the first page, the doorway, the grounded. Here, and if you feel like, yeah, I feel sort of squared away. Okay, then inner, we had one, we had two, easy. Touching on the third one, high, smoother, strong inhale, exhale. Okay, easy, open up a little bit more from next. Next infers a finer dimension of center, and it could be blank or empty, or you don't know. Of course you don't know. You're, you're still in three or someplace. You're not yet fully in four. But wait, the fog will clear. Easy, easy. Level four. Level four. There is a center. Easy. Level four. Okay, now my level four is deeper. Before it stopped around here, it's down around there. And height uh, above the head, about here. Uh, yeah, easy, level four, easy. Let level four show itself, level four. Inner center, level four. I get a sense, it's very strong. I just start to feel that strength. I don't know the texture yet, but that is a very strong feeling of strength. Okay, but let it show, don't make up stories. Let it show, center level four. Okay. It's saying, it's, it's kind of, I get a quick storyline. It's, it's showing like a, a, a nice pipe that has a good cement base. Uh, like if I were to swing around that pipe, it would sustain me, it wouldn't topple over. And I, I did notice it's pointing out its own base. So this fourth pipeline showing a supportive base. And then I realized I didn't say that word supportive by accident. I'm really beginning to feel it now. That center. Okay. Good ground. Sense of supportive, strong. And what's the inner aliveness of it? The inner aliveness of it. At first, I don't know. Easy inner aliveness. Uh, I think you have an inner aliveness. Could you show yourself? Okay, mine is starting to double, double helix, double spiral. Uh, spirals up. Spirals back down. Hmm touches that base and then spirals up, spirals down. And in that aliveness of it, beating that way. And the body around it. That's not clear, I'll go back to this again, inner, 
spiraling down to a base, spiraling up, spiraling down. Now I can be aware of it. I can shift over here and look at that thing. No, inner sense experiential. Do not come out here and know about it. If you experience it, you'll know whatever the right word is here. You'll know about it, but don't come over here to know. Don't be a damn intellectual. Be an experiencer, okay? I think we call that pedagogic. <laughs> you know a lot, you can talk about it a lot, but you ain't got the experience. You're a book learner. Uh, okay, story time. At Esalen, especially, people used to come up to me, this happened quite a lot, more, more than once, and say, oh, you must have read that, that book. And I'd say, no. I'd say, whoa, interesting, because you're kind of voicing the same words or the same sense. And somebody else would come up, oh, you must have read that, that book, a different book. No, because at that time I made an effort not to read anything because I didn't want to be confused by outer sources because I was really catching inner experiential knowledge. So this happened over and over again with different books that I never read. Okay. And the, sometimes the people were dumbfounded or thought I was lying because unfortunately people think you learn by reading somebody else's stuff. Yeah, there's a bit to be gained by that. Okay. But the inner experience of it is true knowledge. Ah, oh sensei story. Ah, he likes Shinto. He liked the Kojiki. He's Japanese, he likes Shinto. Uh, he liked the Kojiki, but he said the difference between me and Kojiki experts, those people who studied Kojiki, uh, for those who are not Japanese or Aikido, Kojiki is the, the old, uh, old stories, the ancient tales of Japan. Close enough, okay? And in there's a lot about how the universe works, if you know how to research it. But he said, the experts read it and study it. He said, I experienced it. He said, that's what makes me different. And he added, uh, and that's why when I talk about the Kojiki, some experts don't understand me because he experienced it. And in the experience, you're getting at the true knowledge, reading about it, again, could become secondary and you get caught up in, I know, I'm up here knowing where we want inner experience for everything. Did I say that? Okay. Oh, another, to follow that story up, there was a, a Kojiki expert in the dojo in Japan. And when Osensei saw him, uh, oh, the Kojiki expert guy. And he started, Osensei started to expound on the Kojiki. For, I don't know, 15 minutes or whatever. Then he left the, the uh, do, dojo. And the Kojiki expert said, I didn't know what the hell he was talking about at all. <laughs> oh, since I experienced, voiced the Kojiki different than this guy who was an expert about it. I would trust those sensei's inner experience of it. Okay. Ah, oh, where are we? Okay. So the better the center, it's already there and it will show. But we have to do a little something to aid it in showing, okay? Settle easy, open. Don't interfere with your negative mind or making up stories and going off there. So we can assist this. So there's a few tricks of the trade. As this gets better, the energy that mix up the uh, better body, okay, that's natural. Better center, better energies mixing in a balanced way. We could also go at it vice versa. If you're not sure about the center, you do some balance work. I don't know, left and right. I don't what a, what whatever. Okay. Oh, uh, story. In my house in Mountain View, I had to, we had a long kitchen, 
and I had a uh, I used to do a little thing. Uh, I'd walk forward five steps or so, then I'd walk backwards five steps, and at first the backward one was a little awkward. But after a few minutes, uh, the forward walk and the backward walk wasn't too bad. They were not perfectly even, but better even. At which time, suddenly there'd be a center there. So just back and forth, and the center would show. I was kind of amazed. That's interesting. I walk back and forth, and the center shows. So it would take a few minutes. Again, in those days, I was probably pretty fast, but there it was. It would just show. So balance, center shows. So uh, if you're not sure about center, you can play with balance. Better the balance makes it easier for the center to show. Okay, so you can reverse, vice versa. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, the balance of energy, balance of body energies, better body, that piece there, okay. That whole thing, uh, I, I want to give him a, a name. Well, we know Bobby Robert, not though. Uh, but its name is character. It's a character. And you are your own character. If we mix you up right, if we mix T.J. Bell up right, he's a musician amongst things. Okay? If we mix me up right, at first I'm a very good warrior. Teach is more than a musician. I'm more than a warrior. But that's one of our first majors. Okay. As we continue, there's more going on than just war warrior. Uh, let's see. So that's why your core, ah, your center, alive, starting to show itself, attracts those energies. You're going to be a better character, you. Okay, if you're not sure what you should do or who you are, I would just run that pattern for a while and go inner finer and better balance and mix up the character. And after a while, you'll know what you should do. It's obvious. Uh, a third piece, which we won't get into, as that uh, energies, center, character, as that gets better, the world you're in will start to dance to your tune, will start to reciprocate. Okay? So, but that's another story. But, uh, give me a pen. Ah. Oh. I'm getting a little ahead, but I think we have time. Oh, my God. Where's time go? Oh, since they like this, uh, can you can you see that? Can you see that? He liked that. Okay. The interpretation is: here's your center line, uh, body, okay, all that, and here's the realm. Realm: the situation you're in, the realm you're in, the world you're in, the universe you're in. Uh, the creation we're in. Uh, so that, that, that was that, okay? You like that. And here <laughs> is this guy, true self, okay? Whew. Getting fancy. Uh, and if we continue these Friday night sessions, I'll, I'll get into uh, some of the bigger pieces of things. Can we do the center one, one more level? Okay. Uh, I hope the newer people are hanging in there with us. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. If we're doing a process like this, and we do two, and you get kind of a flavor of two, and then we lose you when we go to three, don't throw first stance and then one away. Uh, practice with it. Be happy with your one. Even though your neighbor's going to two and the next guy is going to three, if you can only do one, that's fine. Don't throw this doorway away 
or this first sense of center. Okay, just keep hanging out, and that center will lead to the next center. Uh, so don't freak out if you're in grammar school and your buddies in high school and your cousins in college. Don't freak out. You can't. Don't throw grammar school away because you're not in high school or college. That's your. That's your trip. You start wherever you start. Okay. Uh, what do we, what's that phrase? Uh, PKs, is that the phrase? It's a middle America phrase. It means the preacher's kids. Preacher's kids, PKs, we call PKs. In the Midwest, they, they, you see use that term, the preacher's kids. Uh, I didn't start as a preacher's kid. I started as a collar rolled up, leather jacket, fuck you uh, kind of guy. It's where I started. But just da, 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 I end up here. Okay. So you start where you start. <laughs> okay. The point is, here will always be here, and finer will always be there available. Okay. Oh, story. Ah, uh, oh, shit. Quick story. So to check this out, uh, in Japan, I was, uh, had a lot of experience by then in meditation and stuff. But I wanted to check things out. So let's say in meditation, I'd reach a point that was very nice, very humming, very special. I felt special, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. I go and get drunk, which was easy in Japan in those days. And then I dash back home and sit and see if I could, if this place still existed or if by being drunk, it was gone forever. If it was saying, no, you're a sinner, you're not allowed here. And you're following me. And what I found out was that this great place, this whatever level that was, level five, was still there. But because I was drunk, it took me longer to get there. But you know what? It was still there. I thought that was fantastic. That it was always there. It was just a matter of me coming back to the doorway and through the doorway and allowing an experience. I was grateful for that. It was always there where it's at. Okay. And then I tried it again being being very angry and then trying it out. Same thing. It was still there. Took me a little bit longer because I was really pissed off. So it took me a bit longer to get here. But lo and behold, there it was. It was always there. Okay? So center. Uh, you want a couple minutes, two minutes left. Center. We were at four. Four, last one. Okay, he's, make sure you're here. Okay, easy. Kind of rush through with feeling. There's level one, two, or three. Ah, oh, yeah, four. Four. Okay, and as I open some more easy inner finder, it's the next finder dimension. There's a level five. Ah, easy. There is a center here, easy. Ooh, this one's different. I can already feel a strong glow, even though I'm sort of approaching it here. Sense a strong glow from it. Now, don't make up stories, you see. Experience it, level five, you see. Uh, my sense is it's deeper and the base is a bit wider. So note it, you see. Now, it's a moment to feel that deeper, wider base, but level five, center, strong glow. Okay, so what's the texture of the center? It's not metal, it's, uh, it's glowing. So it's not hard, it's, it's more 
diffused energy, not energy, careful, more diffused. Okay, so it's like, I don't say energy, but I have to say energy. It's like an energy pipe. It's not metallic. If I hit it, it I, I, I wouldn't hear it knock. It's, it's like en energy. Okay. And, and so there's the shape of it. There's the texture of it. What's the aliveness here? Level five, easy. For a moment, I don't know. Easy. It's there. It will show. It will be experienced. Yeah, just a bunch of finer, I'd say energy again, a bunch of finer. You know. Okay. All right. So for me, what level that was, was my change from four levels of body. And then you get past body, but you continue. Uh, so body stopped at my feet, but energy dimensions of me are deeper. Okay? The finer of me is more. All right? So uh, right there, we might lose some people because they're losing this tangible human being sense and shifting into something that vibrates more. Okay? It's a, not a major, major, but it's, it's like the, in a book, this is the next chapter. Later, I, maybe I have time, I'll try to lay that out a bit clearer, but I think that should be clear enough. Okay, again, uh, that's starting to get semi-advanced. If we lost you at level two or three and you couldn't catch this, that's quite all right. Hey, I've been at this. I'm a natural. <laughs> okay? This is not my first go around in this shit. You dig? You hear what I'm saying? So, but it's there for you too. So don't panic if you couldn't get past three. Hang out one, two, three. That's, that's what you do. It's, you're going to be a better person at level three center than you are at a, as a twerp with no center or knowledge of center. Okay? You're going to function better. You're going to be better here. You're going to deal with activities better. Right? So uh, if you can't go to four, don't throw one, two, and three away. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Don't throw them away. Okay? Yeah. It's here for all of us. It already is. You already are. But your first eye got so shrouded up, you forgot. Okay? It's easy to go negative. You're all torqued in. But as you untork, it's here. It's always been here. We don't have to create it. We just have to open up and it'll show it's there and it can be experienced. And you realize, oh, this is me. Okay. And uh, for those people, unfortunately, many Aikidos, who think center is just something physical. So I, look at me. I'm centered. I didn't fall over. Look at I didn't fall over. I was like, dear God, people, come on. Inner, finer center. Okay? Inquire. Thank you. Thank you.